In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a simple yet powerful process that you can set up so that you can follow up with all your open house leads automatically uh, without wasting any time. Now, if you're new here, my name is Armando and I help local businesses use the internet to bring in more leads and sales. And if that's something you're interested in, subscribe so that you don't miss any of the other training videos. I'm gonna start off by giving you an overview of how this process works, and then I'm gonna dive into the different pieces so that you can set it up yourself. There are going to be links to all the resources that I mentioned in the description of this video if you wanna snag those or follow along with the training. Now, we are gonna be scratching your pen and paper process that it leaves you with a bunch of random names and phone numbers on a sheet of paper that you then have to manually follow up with if you even manage to find the piece of paper to begin with. And we're gonna create a way for somebody to scan a QR code and actually have a form show up on their phone where they can enter their information and give you some property details and then you can instantly follow up with them automatically via text message, email, voicemail drops, phone calls, however you wanna do that. Uh, and this is how it works. We're gonna be creating some sort of a flyer or printable or something that you can have electronically on your phone or on your iPad. And as people come into the open house, they can scan this QR code. And once they scan this, what's gonna open up on their phone is a mobile friendly page that has something similar to what you're looking at on the screen here. It's gonna ask them for their name, their phone number, and any other information that you need from that open house. It can even go as far as asking uh, for uh, survey information as to whether the property is in good condition so that you can give feedback back to your clients, whether it's priced properly and whether they're gonna be creating, um, submitting an offer, pre-approval, etc. From here, a series of text messages, emails, voicemails, and you know, voicemail drops can then be sent to the contact so that you can follow up with them. In this case, what you're looking at here is a result of that process working. So somebody scanned it, they went to the page, they got a, an email with the details of the open house listing, they got a text message with the uh, open house listings and a listing to the MLS, and then they got followed up because they specified that they did not have an agent. This person actually ended up turning into a listing plus a buyer for uh, this client uh, because they didn't have an agent that were looking to sell their house and purchase a new one, but the open house that they went to just wasn't the right fit for them. So what you're looking at here is a tool that we use to set this up. This tool is called High Level. There is a link in the description to this tool that's gonna give you um, 30 days free trial, I believe, um, so that you can go ahead and, and, and check this out and follow along with it. So the very first thing that we're gonna do when you log into this system, uh, it's gonna look exactly like this, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna be creating a form that is going to allow us to capture that information. So once you click on sites, you're gonna go here to the top, it's gonna say forms, and you're gonna go to form builder. From Form Builder, you're gonna click Create New Form, and a new form is gonna pop up in here, and all you're gonna do is drag and drop the things that you want uh, your form to show. Name, phone number, address, email, and any other information that you want. Now once you've done that, your form could look something like this. One thing that is really important is make sure that you actually name this, this form something that makes sense. So usually if you're doing an open house, I would name it open house form for listing you know, number 5555 or whatever that case is, just as long as it's a unique name that you can find later in the next process. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is actually put this form somewhere on a, a page that when somebody scans that QR code, they can actually open it on their phone. In order to do that, we're gonna click in the same area where it says sites and we're gonna to navigate to the sub list, subheading that says funnels. This is gonna open up this section here where you can create a funnel of some sort. Uh, and a funnel is just a fancy name for uh, a, a page, a web page that does multiple steps. Now, in order to create a new one, all you need to do is click on create new funnel. What I'm gonna do is just give this a test name and we're gonna create one from scratch so you can see how simple it is to do so. So once you create that, we're gonna add a step. Once you do that, it's gonna give you the option to then start editing this. And what we're gonna do is click on the edit button here and click edit page. And it's basically going to be a blank canvas. From here, all we're gonna do is click on a a layout in here, I'm just gonna click on full width, I'm gonna click on add row, and I'm just gonna click on add a single column. From here, you're gonna click on add elements, and then we're gonna choose the actual form that you actually built in the step before. It's so gonna give you this picker. Um, you're gonna select from the form that you want, open house, and then that form is gonna be placed in this section here. Now that you added the form, if I click on preview, you'll be able to see that 
the actual form is right here, uh, ready to, to go, basically. The only thing that's left to do is add some styling. Maybe you want it to look like this, where you can add the background picture, you can add your, your picture there, your uh, information on the listing and all that, just so it looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. By the way, guys, if you're watching this and you've gotten this far and you want the entire flow that I've built from this template all the way to the automations uh, and all, uh, there's gonna be a place in the description where you can go ahead and grab that. So once you've built your form, you're gonna come back in here uh, to this program and we're gonna select uh, automations from the left-hand menu. Now we're gonna go ahead and build all the follow-up se sequences that happen um, once somebody submits that form. So what we wanna do is click Create New Workflow and choose start from scratch and then click create new flow. And this is what your initial screen is gonna look like. Very first thing you wanna do is kinda of name this something that actually makes sense. Maybe the address of the open house or something like that. Uh, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose a trigger. Now a trigger is the first domino. This is what actually sets everything else in motion. So what should set this automation in motion is the fact that somebody actually fills out the form. So what we're gonna do is click add new trigger, leave everything here where it says new trigger CRM, and then we're gonna choose what the actual first domino is. And in our case, we wanna say, if somebody fills out this form, then all the other steps behind that action need to happen. So what we're gonna do is say, somebody actually filled out a form form submission, and then we're gonna go to filters and we're gonna choose the form. The form is, and then we're gonna find the name of the form that you created. This is why it was so important to uniquely name that form uh, something that was different and not to name all your forms home seller forms because then you don't know which one it is. So click the one that says open house and then click save trigger. Now, this is basically telling the system, anytime somebody submits this form, I want you to do all these other actions. In order to add an action, all you need to simply do is click on the plus sign. So if I wanna send them a text message, I wanna say, send these people a text message and then type in my, my text message in here and click save. If I also want to say, send them an email at the same time, then I'm gonna say, send these people an email and I'm gonna plug in my email details here. Now I recommend that you have this written out uh, way before you start your open house so that you're ready to go every single time uh, you, know, you go to your house. Now I'm gonna walk you through what the flow that I've built looks like. So I've got an email so I've got an email that goes out to them and this email goes out to them instantly. Then I've got a step that says wait here. I wanna wait about you know half of half a, a minute so that I don't feel like it's so robotic and then I want to send them a text message with the information to the open house and a call to action and actually a link to the MLS listing. Then I want this system to create an opportunity and to actually get these contacts into a place where I can kind of view them and nurture them later. I want to tag them based on whether or not they said they had an agent or no agent and that is a step that's in the form. If they do not have an agent, I want to continuous to continually follow up with these people um, via text message, via email, maybe do a voicemail drop, maybe even initiate a phone call. And I want to do this several times, maybe send them some open, some information on whatever thing that they're looking for. Uh, so what I did here is I entered a wait step. I want to wait one day. And then I want to send a text message um, that says, hey, thanks for coming out to the open house yesterday. Was there something else that I could help you with? Were you interested in submitting an offer? Is there any questions that I can uh, help answer, uh, et cetera? Once you do this and you're happy with your flow, click save and then click save again. And then everything is already built. Now, the final step is to actually create our flyer here that you can use in order to have people scan at your open house. In order to do this, we're gonna be using Canva. Now, again, there's resources linked below, um, and if you guys want access to this entire flow from the flyer creation all the way to the form creation to the uh, automations that we built, there's also a link in the description where you can pick this up. Um, but we're using Canva. Uh, Canva's pretty easy to, to um, to use, what we're gonna be doing here is just creating a template from one of these here, changing out some images, changing out some text, and actually adding the QR code in here um, 
that you created. Now, as you can see, there is an option here on the left hand side in Canva that says QR code. This is where we're going to be creating our QR code. And so what you're going to do is copy this web address that actually takes you to this form and you're going to go back to Canva and you're going to click on the QR code that's on the left hand pane. From here, you want to just paste that QR code generator and click generate code. Canva disk is then going to give you this code here. I'm going to go ahead and just replace that with this one here and I'm just going to put that QR code right there. Now, anytime somebody scans this QR code, that um, web page is going to open up with the survey and the automations are going to fire. And you definitely want to test that out here. So I'm going to go ahead and scan it with my uh, phone. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but it actually went to that page uh, on my phone where I can actually submit that information. Now, you can use this process not only for open houses, but for actually following up and nurturing all your leads from open houses to networking events. You can have people scan a QR code on your phone and have them put into an automated process. Um, you can put it on all your marketing material, uh, printed collateral material, your website, etc. Uh, if you have any questions on this process, leave me a comment below. If this was helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one.